Hey guys, it's me Sahar. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is really exciting, at least I think, because we are going to be going through every single book that I own and deciding whether or not I'm going to keep it. So this is going to be a giant book unhaul. I am so, so excited. I don't think I've ever actually done an unhaul ever, not just like a video or anything like that. Like I don't think I've ever unhauled my books at least to this caliber and uh, I think the last time I really went through my bookshelves and decided which books I wanted to sell or donate or whatever it may be was back in high school. <laughs> so I think it's time that I went through my books every single one of them and I'm very scared because I'm obviously back at my parents house where half my books are and the other half were at my apartment where I live and I brought them all back. I packed up all of my books every single book that I own and drove three and a half hours to get here and we're just gonna go through every single one of them and I did not realize how many books I owned until I brought them all like I don't have space to walk in my room so I have my hair up I got my coffee the fans going because it's about to get hot in here and I'm ready to unhaul some books so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring a few stacks put them on my bed right here and we'll go through every book in little stacks to maybe make it seem a little less daunting <sighs> this is gonna be a long video this is gonna be a long process but i am here for it so le let's do that Okay, hopefully you can hear me fine from all the way over there, but here is the first stack that we have. So a lot of these I'm seeing that I do want to keep just from bringing them over, like The Shadow of What Was Lost. I definitely want to keep that. I love Keeper of the Lost Cities, so I do want to keep that. This, I almost want to unhaul this because I didn't love this book, but I did love the first one and I'm gonna keep the first one and I haven't read the third one in the series and if I end up really liking the third then I'm just gonna keep the whole set just to have a set but if I don't like the third one I think I'm gonna unhaul these books but for now we're gonna keep it. <sighs> Aurora Rising I honestly I don't know what to do with this one because I did start it at some point I got 150 pages in and I just didn't finish it the only thing is like this is so short because of the way it's written that I feel like I could knock it out if I just put it on my TBR or something. We're only on book four and it's already getting tough. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make like a maybes pile and depending on how big that stack is, I might film a like these books will self-destruct in 12 months video. So this is going in a maybe pile because I, I already knew this is gonna be hard because of how indecisive I am, but we're just starting off with a bang. Okay, definitely keeping A Reaper at the Gates. I didn't love, love this, but I love the series, so I have to keep it. This one I did attempt to read, and I put it down because I was listening to the audiobook, and I was getting really confused. But I'm still very interested in reading this book, so we're going to keep it. And hopefully I'll get to it soon. Um, for sure keeping, this is going to be on my May TBR. If that video's already up, you can check it out. This one, I don't think I'm going to keep. I think I'm going to unhaul this. This was a book of the month pick in, what month was this? In March of 2021. So it's been over a year and I still have not picked it up. It's super short, so it's not even intimidating. I'm going to unhaul it. I don't think I'm going to read it. I'm not, in, I honestly don't even know what this is about. I think it's like a historical mystery type thing, which is not something I'm usually interested in. So... First book unhauled, look at me go. So I'm gonna make a little unhaul stack right there. This one is another one that I'm kind of iffy on. It's it's a fantasy. I honestly don't even remember what this is about. It seems like it's like a chosen one trope. There's a prophecy. I do love all of those things. So this might be another one that we add to the maybe pile. Obviously keeping Southern Book Club. I think I'm going to unhaul Outlander because I've had it for so so long and I just I haven't read it I'm not interested in this I tried watching the TV show I watched like half of the first episode and just I was just bored so I this is on haul 
Yes, let's do this. I think I'm going to unhaul The Bear and the Nightingale and The Girl in the Tower by Katherine Arden. I know this is such a beloved series, but I just did not love the first one. I'm not a huge all vibes, no plot type of reader. Like, I, I need a heavy, not a heavy plot. Like, I can still read a character-driven story. Obviously, I love Addie LaRue, but I, I just, I wasn't really interested. So, we're going to unhaul those. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. Obviously, keeping. Now, this... <laughs> I have a Nicholas Sparks book in my collection. Why? I don't know. I think I have another one somewhere. I do own the last song. Um, I want to read this because this is my favorite movie. I love the movie Safe Haven. Okay, not my favorite. It's it's up there though and I really, really want to read the book. So I think I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to unhaul the last song though because I just know. But I'm going to keep that. Obviously going to keep home all of my bent books of the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, see this is what happens when you Move a million times all of your books get bent and destroyed and it sucks. So I am keeping the Lord of the Rings series it's right there. I have the second and third books in the what is this called first law trilogy definitely keeping those This is a YA mystery and when I went book shopping with Haley um, she also purchased this and I am going to keep it until um, she says it's good or not because I feel like our YA mystery tastes align pretty well. So if she likes this one, I'm going to read it. If not, it will be unhauled. So we're going to keep that for now. Um, Aristotle and Dante. I think I'm going to unhaul this one. I did really enjoy this book. I just don't think I'm ever going to reread it. I thought it was sweet, but it's not like... A book that blew me away so i'm going to unhaul this i'm also oh there it is the last song we're unhauling the last song by nicholas sparks i don't know what i did i went through a phase where i decided that i was just going to buy a lot of romance books and pretend to be a romance reader when we all clearly know i'm not exhibit a um i bought crazy rich asians i just don't care about the the inside flap is really gorgeous. I just, I don't care. I don't care about this book. Obviously going to be keeping it Sarah J Mass. I'm not going to go through my Harry Potter and my third of class shelf just because I know I'm keeping all of those. Um, but I will show you guys. I got the Nerdy Ink dust jackets. So I'll show you guys those. Um, I'm going to unhaul this. This is a book sent to me by the author and I just never read it. I'm really not interested. This is like a portal fantasy about vampires. Um, it seemed pretty interesting, but I just, I don't think I'm going to get through it. I don't know what to do with this. The only thing is I, I've annotated this and so I can't get rid of it. And I honestly, I did enjoy this first one. Like I really did like From Blood and Ash. I just don't think I'm going to pick up the rest in the series, but I don't know what to do with the fact that I've annotated it and like written in it. So I think that's going to be an issue that I have in a lot of my books is the ones that I didn't like that I thought I was going to love. I annotated them and it just didn't work out and I don't know what to do. So if you guys know how I can get rid of books, can I just like donate them? Like if I give them to my local library, is that bad? Let me know down below if you guys know anything about that, but I will be keeping it for now. This one is a sci-fi and someone's lost and this crew is assigned to relocate them. And that's kind of all I know. There's a cool dog in here. So maybe uh, this will be a maybe. I think I'm going to unhaul the Night Circus because I did not like this book. I gave it, I think, two stars. It was just so boring. Not a lot happened. And I feel like a lot of people who don't like this book have a similar complaint. Um, and I'm really, really sad that I didn't love this because it's so many people's favorite book of all time. I think I'm still going to give the Starless Sea a try because I've heard that if you don't like the Night Circus, you might like the Starless Sea and vice versa. So we will still give this a go. And then I think I'm going to unhaul the evolution of Mara Dyer. I actually, let me go grab the first book. Okay, we have the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and the Evolution of Mara Dyer. These... Ugh, I read this book in high school and I, I think it was high school, maybe it was honestly early college, who knows, and I absolutely loved it. I gave it like five stars, but I feel like if I reread it, I would absolutely hate it and I never picked up the sequel, so we clearly aren't going to be reading these so we can get rid of them. Okay, 
that's a lot of books already unhauled. We have a good pile of keeps. So I'm going to switch these out and be back with a new stack. Okay, I've got my second stack. A lot of these I've recently hauled like Malice, The Atlas Six, just bought that. Recently bought Project Hail Mary, also obsessed with that book, so I'm not getting rid of it. This is the second book in the Thai Child trilogy, so I definitely have to keep it to continue on. Just bought this, and I'm so, so excited. I can't believe I've never read Graceling, but we need to keep that. This one, I don't know what to do with, because I read it, it was okay, I gave it three stars, and I don't think I'm really going to think about it ever again. But it's so gorgeous that I want to keep it. This is hard. Ah, I don't know why I did this video. I think I'm gonna keep this. I think I think we're gonna keep it. I it's still a three stars. I didn't hate this book, so me trying to justify it to myself. Obviously keeping Throne of Glass. Throne of Glass. A Court of Thrones and Roses. Just bought this, just bought this, and it already got a little dented in the move. I don't even know if you can see that, so I am crying on the inside i'm not gonna lie but we gotta keep those a bunch of these i have recently purchased so i'm not even like looking at them i am keeping the poppy war even though i didn't love this again it was a three stars but i am rereading it in may okay these three are books that were sent to me by the author so i need to read these and review them soon Okay, see, this is a fantasy romance that I'm definitely unhauling. I really did not like this book. I gave it two stars, and it's just, it wasn't good. So this is going in the unhaul pile, even though I still have to keep it to do my April wrap-up. Okay, this one, I obviously, I started it, I got 150 pages in, and I just wasn't, 185 pages in, and I just wasn't getting into it, but I think I'm going to keep it because I did love illuminate and i do want to continue on with the series eventually this one i'm unhauling i literally don't care about reading this book i think i put it on a recent tbr acting like i was in the mood for this and i just wasn't so we're not we're not keeping this any guesses if we're keeping this or unhauling this yeah this is getting unhauled so if anyone is interested in riley sager i'm going to be listing all of these on pingo books did i say that all of these are going to be listed on Panga Books. Link is down below. I do want to read this, even though I've heard this is not his best work, but we are still going to keep it. This, I think we're going to put in the maybe pile. This is another fantasy. I think it has something to do with pirates. I feel like this is something I would want to read over the summer. So we're going to keep this in the maybe pile, but we'll see. This is my beautiful edition of Lord of the Rings. It's illustrated by the author. It has these beautiful sprayed edges. I'm obsessed, so we're obviously keeping this. This, I honestly am not sure what to do with. I don't, I don't even know what this is about. It's going in the maybe pile. Here's the first book. Oh my god, I just dropped it. This is chaos already. This I am unhauling because I tried to read it, and at first I was like, oh, it'll be a soft DNF. Maybe I should keep this I think I'm gonna put in the maybe pile because I did try to read it I got 100 pages in and I just put it down because I wasn't really feeling it I don't even know how I came to have this book 365 words to augment your vocabulary I guess I'll keep this see if my mom wants it I don't know um Karen Slaughter I don't know what to do with you because I read Pretty Girls I really did enjoy it people have told me that I was gonna like this one even more because it has to do with a lawyer so I think I'm gonna keep it for October so we unhauled three books in that stack. We've got a couple maybes. It looks like we're on track to get a big book unhaul, so I'm excited for that. So I took out the entire x -Fan series because I'm obviously going to be keeping that. Um, I'm in the middle of book three, so I want to continue on with the series. This I'm unhauling because I have the UK edition, which I like so much more, so this is going to be unhauled. So I want to unhaul this entire series. The only problem is, is I thought I was going to love The Cruel Prince, and I annotated it. So that's another issue. I could always sell The Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing because I didn't annotate those. I didn't even read The Queen of Nothing. So yeah, um, I'm going to 
I'm going to think about what I want to do with the curl prints, but the rest of the series is for sure getting sold on Pango. Oh, why is it so freaking pretty inside? Part of me wants to keep these to reread them in hopes that I might like them this time around, but we got to part ways. We have to part ways with books we don't love. Unlike this, we love this. So I'm going to keep that. Definitely keeping this. I want to unhaul this so bad, but at the same time, I want to give it another chance because I did DNF it at like the 66%, 67% percent mark, and I do love the rest of the series. So I'm going to keep it in hopes that I will pick it up in the future. Keeping, oh, gotta keep my Brandon Sanderson. I've had this for a little bit now, but I am planning on reading it for a video, so we're going to keep that. This one, honestly, a bunch of these in this stack. Don't think I'm gonna keep. Four Dead Queens. It sounds like Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake, but I don't think it's gonna be a dark or anything like that. It's a Barnes and Noble exclusive edition if anybody wants it. So we're gonna unhaul that. I honestly, I don't know what to do with these because I really want to read them at some point. Like these are books that I know are like trashy, dystopian type books. But I want to experience them and I also just want to have them for my kids in the future. So I think I'm going to put these in the these books will self-destruct pile. And we'll see kind of what to do with those later on. This I'm getting rid of because I don't care. I just don't. I obviously got it as a book of the month pick in January of 2021 and I still have not read it. So this is getting unhauled. Obviously keeping this, I mean, come on. This one, I don't know what to do with. This is another YA mystery. It kind of reminds me of Pretty Little Liars though. So I don't know if I want it. It's like three best friends. One of them dies or goes missing. And then the whole town thinks that the other two girls did it and they're trying to prove that they didn't. So it's a very Pretty Little Liars vibes. It is signed, which is cool, but I'm never gonna read this. So we're gonna unhaul that. Okay, this one, why does it look like this? Lucifer's War. Well, it's called God's Demon, um, but it's about Lucifer. I don't know, what even is this? I, I, I don't I don't think I'm gonna read this. I don't even know what the heck I was thinking when I bought it. This I am for sure unhauling. I hated this book. Uh, it was just not good. It was really really good. Um, but the cover is beautiful. If anyone wants to buy it from me, this one I honestly don't know much about, but I am gonna keep it because it's supposed to be grim dark and it's fairly short. So hopefully I can get to it soon. Okay, this one. Seems pretty interesting, but it's like an amusement park with robots and one of them starts thinking that they're human or something. I don't know. This is a maybe. This I'm keeping for the fall time. Haven't read it, but I really want to. So yeah, wow. I am feeling good. Okay, let's, let's do our little switcheroo. I completely forgot that I even had coffee because I got so carried away, so. Okay, bringing these over, I honestly can already tell that this is going to be a pretty big unhaul pile. So first, I obviously have, not all, I think I'm missing one of the Game of Thrones books, but we're obviously going to keep those. I really do want to read them. I have The Song of Achilles, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Fortuna Sworn. These are all books that I read that I really enjoyed. Keeping those this beautiful edition of the name of the wind we are obviously keeping i love this book see this is this is where i don't i don't know what to do with this i've never read this i don't know what this is i found it at goodwill and i literally bought it just so i can film a reading vlog i think i'm gonna do it over the summer this book will eventually be getting on hold even after i read it because i know i'm about to give this like one star but we're gonna keep it for now. Obviously going to be keeping my Hunger Games, these beautiful black editions. I have no idea what these are like called, like what kind of editions these are, but they're really pretty. I'm unhauling matched. I don't even know why I still have this to be honest. We're not, we're not doing that. 
Uh, I'm going to unhaul the Maze Runner and the Scorch Trials because I just could not care less about these books. Um, this one, I'm honestly not sure what to do with. This is the Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. This one I really did enjoy when I read it. And it's like a YA sci-fi dystopian type of book um, where we kind of have like a companion. Um, and our main character's companion robot person is named Nemesis. And yeah, Nemesis is what they call a Diabolic. So, I don't know what to do with this. I really don't know what to do with this because I want to keep it because I did enjoy it. I think I'm going to keep it. We're going to keep this book. Okay, moving on. We have more Red Rising. Oh, love Ninth House. I want to reread Ninth House at some point closer to when Hellbent comes out, so I will keep that. Um, obviously keeping the book one and two in the Nevernight Chronicles. I'm going to be unhauling this. I literally still have my bookmark for when I was so close to the end and I just couldn't care less. So we're unhauling this book. I honestly have no idea what it's even about and anymore. Yeah, this is another one where I started annotating. I only have four annotations in here, so I feel like I can get rid of it um, and sell it. But this I was so excited for. I thought it was going to be so good and it just wasn't because it was boring. How many copies of the Fellowship of the Ring do I have? This is the second and third books that I've found and they're all different editions but I do love these editions and so I think I'm going to keep this. I think this is my brother's. I don't think he's going to care if it's gone though. We're going to unhaul this one. Um, and I'm going to keep this edition because I really, really want to collect all of them um, in these. I don't even know what these are called. If you guys know what these are called, let me know because I want them all. This was a gift. This is The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse. It's like a little children's story. We've got Verity. Love that. Honestly, I don't know what to do with this one. This is Invisible Monsters by Chuck Palahniuk. I think I'm going to unhaul this. I honestly don't even remember what this book is about. I remember I kind of enjoyed it. It was kind of weird. I don't I don't really like the kind of weird that this was. So we're getting rid of that. This is a great first contact book. If you guys haven't read it, it's literally called Contact and it's so, so good. This one, I honestly, I'm, this is another one that I'm unsure. I gave this three stars. The concept is really interesting. It's basically like this dystopian sci-fi where we have a bunch of people who have colonized a different planet because we're tired of all the famine and war on earth and on this planet um, plants are the predominant species and the story is told through seven different generations so we kind of follow how these plants grow their intelligence and how we learn to kind of adapt and live with them and these plants are like freaky smart like they can change their dna to make themselves poisonous so if a human eats like a apple off the tree or something like they will die it's it's a really really cool concept i just didn't like the execution but i think i am going to keep it and give it a reread at some point because i feel like this is something i would really like now i really do love this book i know that a lot of people don't like it at least from what i've seen but for some reason i really liked this i'm keeping this this is one of my favorite books of all time, Perks of Being a Wallflower. Absolutely love this book. I definitely want to give it a reread at some point. It's super short, so we can definitely do it. And then, of course, we have my very heavily annotated first book in the Shades of Magic series that I absolutely adore. What the heck is this? This I am unhauling. This I am unhauling. And this I am unhauling. This stack is getting pretty big. I'm impressed. Okay, we have Legendary in Finale by Stephanie Garber. Now, I did not love Caraball, but I am curious to reread it because it's been so, so long. So I think I'm going to keep these just for that to reread. Um, and if I don't like Caraball when I reread it, then I will get rid of these. This is another one that I'm not sure. I, oh my gosh, this is from so long ago. I bought this July 2020 from book of the month and I still have the bookmark it came with in here. This is great, I'm finding a bunch of bookmarks, but I still haven't read it. I think this is gonna be a maybe because I am still really interested in this. I wanna know what it's about, everyone talks about it. So I'm gonna try to read it. Um, I have another bookmark. <laughs> 
This is Skyward. I tried to read it. I got like 50 pages in and then I stopped, but I did really enjoy the first 50 pages. I'm just not quite sure why I stopped reading. Um, then I have The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. Really unsure about this one. This is another maybe. Okay, we've gotten some really good progress. I am so happy. This stack of books that I'm just piling, that I'm keeping, is getting ridiculous, but we're gonna keep adding to it, so. Okay, another series that I'm not gonna be going through is my Mortal Instrument series, because I'm definitely keeping all of those. My Percy Jackson series I'm keeping, and my Heroes of Olympus series I'm keeping, so I think I'm looking at my bookshelves. I think those are the only other ones that I'm not gonna be going through, because I know for sure I'm keeping them, and I don't feel like pulling all of them off my shelf, because there's a lot, so. Yeah, this one I can already see. I want to unhaul. I read it. I did not like it. It's a another paranormal romance, so if that's your thing, maybe you'll like this. I'm not a huge paranormal romance gal, so I did love that. Loved the Monsters of Verity series. Look at how crazily I tabbed these. Why did I think making them stick out this much was a good idea? And then I have my entire Scythe, Arc of a Scythe trilogy by Neil Schusterman one of my favorite series of all time definitely keeping that i have six of crows and crooked kingdom i've read six of crows didn't love it but i gave it a three stars it was still pretty good and i think i'm going to actually reread it reread it pretty soon so if i like it i will keep it and read the second one if not obviously we'll get rid of them but for now these are a keep here is a caraball Okay, this is another one that I don't know what to do with because I gave this one five stars. I loved this book so, so much. It's like a magical time travel book and it's great. Um, and then I started the second one. I got about, again, I have a bookmark in here. I got 200 pages in and I gave up. So I think I'm going to reread this. Again, there's so many rereads that I need to do because I just, it takes so long between the first one and the second one that I always forget what happens and then I never end up liking the second one as much because I'm not invested anymore so I need to just pick up series right when I finish the previous book and I just I need to, I need to be better about that this I'm unhauling this is one of my favorite YA fantasies I don't know why I just love it so much like I know it's not the best of the best but I loved it I just I loved it so much and then uh, my heart and soul Addie LaRue, absolutely love. Again, not for everyone, but I loved it. I also have this graphic novel. It's called Monstrous. It is a fantasy horror. It's not really horror, but it has a little bit of gore in it. Um, but it's it's really, really good. Highly recommend. Obviously, we have Heartstopper Volume 1. Bought this like a couple years ago, and I did read it, and I really enjoyed it, and I have already finished the TV show, so... We love that. These I don't know what to do with because I I love the first one, didn't like the second one, don't even own the third one because I DNF'd it. So I almost want to keep the first one just because I really liked it and then unhaul the second. Is that bad? Should I just do that? It's my video. I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm going to keep Serpent and Dove because I really did enjoy that one and I think I'm going to unhaul Blood and Honey because I just couldn't care less about that book. Um, that's another stack done. Okay, I'm like so out of breath, but I moved all of the books that I was unhauling off my bed so I could have more space, but I can already see that I want to unhaul this. This is the truth about Alice. I, I don't know. I also have The Odyssey by Homer. It is really, really pretty. I just don't think I'm ever gonna read this. Like, why would I willingly read this? It's gorgeous, it has deckled edges, but again, this is just not a book that I want on my shelves. Same with The Selection by Kira Cass. It just, no, I don't like The Bachelor, and I will for sure not like this either. Okay, then we have For the Killing of Kings, which seems like a YA fantasy, so this could be on a maybe's pile put it there i have the good girl's guide to murder the first two books so we're keeping those Ugh, no exit love it definitely keeping it i don't know what to do about this this is the silence of the lambs by thomas harris um this was okay for me but i honestly i just i really want more books on my horror shelf because i don't 
have a ton so i might keep it just for that don't hate me i really i still enjoyed it it just wasn't my favorite thing ever um i think i'm gonna unhaul truth witch by susan dennard here's another bookmark i started it i dnf'd it i just wasn't getting into it and a lot of people have said that i will not like this book so we're gonna get rid of it i also read and did not like star daughter by shweta tarkrar and it hurts my soul to unhaul this because look how freaking beautiful this book is it's so so pretty okay the darkest minds by alexander bracken i think i read this and gave it two stars and that was when i was into ya fantasy dystopian books so if i reread this now i would absolutely hate it i think absolutely love the diviners i'm a little iffy on this one because i read it and it was okay i didn't love it but i do think it's really pretty i like the foiling so i'm gonna keep it that's so shallow we have illuminate without the dust jacket because because one of my favorite books of all time for sure keeping this someone please tell me how to get this costco sticker off of it same with this one of my favorite fantasy series of all time this one is the conclusion to a series that is somewhere in my books um and i really did like this series so we're gonna keep it i don't think i'm ever gonna read the falling kingdoms i don't think i'm gonna like it it seems really not my cup of tea I don't know what to do with this. This is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. I don't think I'm gonna read this. We're gonna we're gonna unhaul this. I also don't think I'm ever gonna read The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I'm feeling so so good. We're definitely keeping all of my Rick Riordan books obsessed, even though I haven't read them. This was pretty good. A Mirage by Samaya Dodd. Um, so I will keep this. Um, I did not love Red Queen when I read it, but I am keeping my copy just for the Red Queen along. I'm going to reread this and see if I like it, and if I don't, then I just won't do the read along and I will unhaul this, but for now, I really do want to keep it. This I don't care about. It's also gross and dirty, so I'm not even going to try to sell this. This is disgusting. And I'm going to donate it to my library. I have A Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, another book that I started and did not finish, but I do want to eventually read this, maybe in the fall, so we'll keep this. I am definitely unhauling this. This is Gerald's Game by Stephen King. I did not like this. I DNF'd it halfway through. It was just so boring and pointless and... I couldn't get behind this book. Okay, Ruth Ware. I have such a mixed relationship with Ruth Ware books because I have either loved them or hated them. This one was like, okay. Like it wasn't the worst thing that I've ever read. But I do think I'm going, I think I'm gonna keep it though because I did enjoy most of it. I just didn't love the ending, but it's a book I wanna keep. One of my favorite romances of all time. Definitely keeping. See, here's a Ruth Ware book that I absolutely loved, The Turn of the Key. The Book Thief, I'm sorry, but I'm just not gonna get to this ever. I just don't like historical fiction. Same with The Scarlet Letter. This is just a classic that I'm never going to get to. Um, Bunheads, <laughs> this is like one of the first books I ever bought. Um, it's about a dancer that has to choose between her dancing or ballet. She's a ballerina who has to choose between her ballet dreams coming true or her first love. Okay, so we're done with that stack. I think I have one more stack to go and we'll be ready to go through the final overview of everything. I'm excited. Okay, so I didn't move any of the books that I just did because I realized there was only a small stack of books left. So um, we have The Female of the Species, which I'm definitely keeping. I love that book. In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I am unhauling this. I just, it honestly wasn't the worst thing that I've ever read, I'm not gonna lie, but I just don't care for contemporary romance. I bought this in December of 2020 from Book of the Month and I did read it in that month, so I'm really proud of myself. Um, and then I will be unhauling Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is another book that I did annotate, so sorry about that. But if anybody wants an annotated copy of Fangirl, let me know. And then I have all of my Artemis Fowl books that I own so far. So I have the first five. The series is pretty long, and I did really enjoy the first two books 
when I read them. So I'm gonna keep them for when I'm in a middle grade mood and I don't wanna pick up Keeper of the Lost Cities because I do own the first two, obviously. Um, and I have kept all of the others. So we're keeping this. And then the last little stack that I have is all of my Jane Austen books. This is the classic collection. We're gonna keep these. Okay. Oh my god, we are done. Okay, so these are all of the books that I decided to unhaul. There's a huge stack, and then there's actually a second stack behind both of these. So this is fantastic. I'm so, so happy about this. And then this is the absolute mess that I am left with. These are all of the books that I own that I'm not unhauling. Um, this is my little maybe pile that I'm going to make my these books will self-destruct video with so we are keeping these here for now i also have a <laughs> misborn map so we're obviously going to keep that because i want to hang it up somewhere at some point but we have those in the maybe pile and then i just wanted to quickly show you guys that i did get the nerdy ink dust jackets for the entire throne of glass series and i'm absolutely obsessed with these and i did in fact get the dust jackets for the Harry Potter series as well. So we have those and I just want to show my little unicorn, but I do have all of my Cassandra Clare books, which is only the Mortal Instruments series. And then I have my little Rick Riordan shelf, which I have the old original covers of Percy Jackson. I also have the first two books in the movie covers, which I don't like. I think I'm going to donate these. I know I didn't pull them out, but I am going to donate these to my local library just because I don't really, uh, this is literally upside down um i don't really care for these covers and they're so old but i feel like some kids might enjoy these um but i do have the brand new covers and then i have my entire heroes of olympus except for the son of neptune which is in the pile back there but yeah so i don't want to prop my camera back up on my tripod because it takes a second so we are just going to end off the vlog here the vlog this is not a vlog we're just going to end off this video here i hope you guys enjoyed going through all of my books that I own with me. I am just so, so excited. I've been wanting to do this for so long and yeah. And again, all the books that I unhauled that are in pretty good condition will be listed in my Pingo Books store. So I will leave a link to that down below. And if you made it to the end of this video, then leave me an X emoji because we are unhauling it today. We don't want these books. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.